So after you have everything set up, camera plugged into the computer, to the power cord, and plugged into the camera, your turntable plugged in, your model on the table, and your software open, make sure your camera is connected and your controller is connected. This is hand scan mode. This is tabletop mode. I'm gonna do texture, small object, and we'll see how the brightness looks. I'm gonna hit preview. This is where you line. The camera will start to flash a couple times. So this is where you can check and make sure your model is lined up. And right now it looks a little dark. I can't see it up here either. So I will raise the brightness to number two. Now I can see him a little better up here and he's starting to appear here more. Let's see how three looks. Three looks like I'm mo losing some of him now again. Like he might be too bright. And four is definitely too bright. And you can see red up here. That means you're getting reflection. So that's four brightness. That's down to three. There's two. And there's one. So again, I'm gonna go with two. Because I'm getting a lot of his hat. I'll readjust this a little bit. Put that right on the center. And then I will hit stop. Now I will remove the model or item from the plate. I will hit initialize. You can see the camera flashing down here in the beginning. There you see it again. Okay, so as long as your plate is red, you can hit stop. Now I will put the model back on the plate. And I will hit scan. Camera starts flashing. and recording the scan. You can see I'm about between nine and 10 frame rates per second, or frames per second. Here's your scan count. A 
stop around 324. It'll start automatically processing the data. If you want to stop it before, you can always hit stop. So let's just load this up here. Here you can see this is maxing out my computer. And it hit the disk pretty hard. And I miss showing you the GPU. But everything is processed. And you can see it hit the memory pretty hard too. And there we go. That is the first scan of my printed scanned gnome. So this is a scan of a scan. So now to edit this real quick, just to clean it up a little bit, we're going to go over here to editor, we'll go to basement selection right here, we will hit apply, click calculate base, and that's just going to take and measure all the red, and if only a little bit of this is red, it will turn all of your base red. Now as you've seen, I have them sitting on a bottle cap. Uh, you can see how high that comes into that bottle cap. You can adjust this by this number right here, tolerance. If you go down, see it brought that a little closer, but one is as low as you can go. So if I were to put him directly on the plate, then I would lose some of his detail. So that's why I put raised him up just a little bit and now I can actually raise this a little more that's four and we got seven and seven takes it just about to the bottom of his feet I'll have a little extra in here I'll have to clean up which I'll go over that next so after that you can click just so I don't lose this scan I'm gonna go save just because I know CR studio uh, does sometimes crash unfortunately um, my system is not the best um, but it's what I have to work with and it works. I just have to deal with the occasional uh, CR Studio maxing out my. I'll just put this as live. Maxing out my CPU, GPU, and memory sometimes. So we'll hit save. And now I will hit delete. Fingers crossed. Okay. Woohoo. So there we go. So I have a little bit of residual noise here. I call this uh, pixel noise. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, let's see if I turn this there. Now you can see all this extra out here. Uh, that's obviously gonna make your scan look a little distorted, like it does and is. 
So how can we fix this? You have some more here. So you have all that there. So how can we fix that? Um, you know, we want to get the, the best model possible from our scan. So we can go into editor mode still. We can go to select, and this is where you select your tools, whether it's a point, a line, a rectangle, a lasso, a polyline, and these two, I'm still figuring out what they do, to be honest with you. Um, but I use the lasso. It works pretty well for me. So right now you have 324 scans or frames that make up this one scan here. So you're probably asking yourself, well, how do I see each one of those scans or each one of those frames? If you double click on your scan one or the scan name, it brings up every individual frame or picture that was taken in each point cloud. So you can see here, hopefully you can see, try to zoom in here for you. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the first scan that was taken, the first picture. Now this is where you can go in and you can kind of clean this up a little bit and get rid of the extra stuff, the extra noise that you don't need. Like, so you can see right here is where some of the bottle cap was. So you can rotate that around just by left click and hold the mouse. Now I want to delete that area right here. Let's see if we can change those colors again. There, now you can see that a little better. So if I go back to here, see that's gonna be all this noise here. So I can, let's, let's continue with this. Um, so double click scan, we'll go back to frame one and if you left click and hold and drag down, you can start highlighting a couple frames and make sure everything's lined up and you start to see, you know, some more of your image pretty well or some more of your uh, item that you're to scan. So you can see one and two kind of really don't line up that well. See how here's your hat, the, the, the top of your hat. See how that does that? So now this starts making a full pattern from two down. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna delete this frame. I'll right click, I'll hit delete. And now that took some of the residual noise out of there right away. That could cause some issues. So now you can still see we do have a lot more, like down in here and here. And all this down here. So we'll open this back up. Go to frame two. We only see a little bit down there in the bottom. So I'm gonna highlight a couple of these. Okay. So here's how you edit. To get rid of them, what I call point cloud noise, I'm going to do these right here. So I'm going to hit control and hold. Now you see my cursor turned to an X. 
and just check and make sure what tool I'm on. I'm on lasso. So go back to where I want to start. Hold control. I have an X. I'm going to hold the left mouse and draw around what I want to delete. Let go of the mouse. Let go of control. And it normally should turn red. But I'm going to hit delete. And now I brought up every frame highlighted again. But if I do this, you can see that is no longer there. Now if I come down a little further, you can see that's no longer there. Okay. So let's try and get rid of some more of this bottle here. That'll be all this, I believe. Now you can also do the same kind of editing here. Um, but it does get tricky when you try to get into finer spaces and details, uh, depending on what type of model you're getting. Like right now, if I wanted to get all of this right here, but I had a little bit of the arm behind it watch what happens so if I hit control and I highlight this I want to get rid of that and shape his beard for some reason it's not turning red for me but usually it does which is making this hard to show you There it is. So you see I got that little bit, but look how much of his arm I had got. So, and if I hit delete, now I would not know, or you know, I would take away his arm. Now in order to get this back and unhighlight something to be deleted, you can see here, all these are red. You know, that would have got part of his arm. So now to get this all back, I got some more back here I'm going to leave. I'm going to hit Control. Or I'm going to hold Control and Alt. Now see it went back to a cross. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to draw a circle around what I do not want deleted. Let go of the mouse, and there you go. Now if I hit delete, you can see all that extra pixel noise has disappeared. So that's how you can go in and clean up your scans uh, to try and make them as clean as possible. So I will do the same here. I will hit control and hold. And I will hold the left mouse. You see it turned red. Hit delete. Now that was with all the scans on. If I want to get more detailed, you have 320 some frames here. So, see here you can come in and get a little more detailed in just certain areas uh, without interference in the background. Uh, and worry about the leading stuff. So again, I'll hold control. Let's come in and delete. So I hope you guys got the logistics of that. Uh, 
so that's 179 frames. So control, let's come in, click and hold the mouse. Now, you can do more than one area at a time. Okay. So, say I want to do there, and now I want to do get rid of this out here. See, now that's red. Um, so I want to try and clean up around here. And now if I hit delete, it'll delete all that at once. So that also helps with when the software goes to do an auto align, it gives it more of a pronounced um, object and takes away all the clutter. So control. But sometimes you just gotta rotate around all the angles. Because this is a 360 degree model, so. You do get residual noise in all different ways. This is not just like uh, drawing with pen and paper and erasing a line. There are dots 360 degrees around. So you can see that's starting to clean him up a little bit and make him look a little better. your scan it brings up all your frames you can highlight a couple frames and go in and edit or you can edit all the frames at once now this is all the frames highlighted back again but if I highlight a couple that were there you can see what I had highlighted and where I stopped and what I did not have highlighted because those are starting to come in. Do this real quick here so that we can get on and I can show you a little bit more. Spread my knowledge with the rest of you. And it ain't that much. <laughs> it's just stuff I've kind of discovered along the way and um, other people have also helped. Control Alt and just recircle that and back to normal. Okay.
So you can see how it looks good one way and then you turn around and move it around and you get more noise that pops up. So instead you just kind of go in and, and shape it. Get all that nasty noise out of there. So there we go. Okay. I'll say I'm okay with that scan. Okay. So now we'll go back to our H scan. And you can see that he looks a little cleaner now. Uh, there's always going to be some I can go back in and as you'll see this. Oh, I should have got that. I should have got that. You, know, you don't have to be perfect either. Um, the software does kind of help and uh, clean some of that up for you. But if you can go in and shape it a little better, it makes these next couple steps here a little easier. So now... We're going to rotate the model. And we will hit append. And if I wouldn't have saved this before, you'd get that little box that popped up to save it. So I'm going to hit save now. Just to auto save what I had all done. And modifying this file. Or this point cloud or scan, whatever you would like to call it. And now I will hit scan again. Camera should start flashing and scan started. Oh, sorry about that one. He does look a little dark, so we'll see how he turns out. I may end up going up to three. Yeah, you can see my CPU is getting hit hard. And this is why most people are experiencing the software crashing is due to the hit that their laptops or systems are taking when CR Studio is processing. So here's scan number two. Now you can see here I only got part of the plate. That is red. So here again, we'll go to editor, go to basement selection, go to calculate base, and see it turned everything red. And now I'll look at my bottle cap. And I can go increase base, seven, let's try one more. And I'm getting just a very, very, very little red on the bottom of here, but that should be fine. Let's 
see it right there. I'm not worried about that. That looks more like noise than anything. So now I will hit delete. And there we go. Now here's a good example of what I was talking about before, where you get this wisp of data noise or scan noise. You can see it all out here. There, you know. So we'll open this scan up, go to the individual frames, and I bet that's probably frame number one. There it is. Frame number two. See, there we go. So that is something that I've learned. Uh, I usually always go in and just delete that first frame right away because that, you know, gives you a blurry image. So, delete. There we go. That looks a little better. See, look at that. Okay, so let's go in and clean this scan up a little bit. See those are red right there. Uh, see, I got everything like this. Now, if I rotate a little bit, look at all that that comes up. See, this is where I was talking about that 360 degrees. You got to make sure you get circle around your model. Okay, so now there I let go of control before I let go of my mouse and that stayed. So I gotta do that again. Now see if I would have been tilted a little too much, I could end up getting his arm right here. See that's his arm, so you gotta be careful what you're grabbing. Especially when you're in full all frames loaded in your scan so now I'll hit delete let's see how much stuff disappears here Whoop. okay and there we go that cleaned him up a little bit see There again, so to get some more of those detailed areas, you can go in and 
double click on your scan number and highlight a couple of your frames and you can go in and get a little more detailed and not worry about deleting extra stuff that you shouldn't um, as you can see some colors are harder to see than others So I'll clean him up a little bit and get this little bit here. There we go. Okay, so that's scan number two. So now you're probably wondering, well, where's scan number one? I, I can't see scan number one. Scan number one's not there. So, if you right click on your scan, come down here to load scans, click that, and there's going to be your two scans. So, if we wanted to see how these lined up right now, how auto line would do, we can come over here to modify or align. And one of these is going to be stationary, and one is going to move and align. You can pick, so if both these are the same color, so scan one is as reference. If both these are the same as aligned, then you cannot it won't let you do anything here for auto align one of them has to be as a reference even if both are a reference it won't let you do anything and if you have it as none same thing it won't let you do anything you gotta make sure you have one is reference and one is aligned. Uh, this does come into play later when you're trying to line up multiple scans over here at the same time or individually, but have them all there. Uh, so right now, if I click this, I'm on auto, it will try and auto align these. and it didn't do too bad of a job. Now you can also change the color of these. And what that's going to do. Um, it should. So that kind of shows you which model is which. So now that that actually did do a pretty good job and I'm satisfied, satisfied with that, before I get too crazy and get a whole bunch of scans over here, um, you can hit apply and that will leave those two together now not permanently but it just holds that registration or that positioning on the table so 
let's go do scan number three. We'll go back to H scan. We will go to append. Turn him in a different direction. I'm gonna turn the bottle cap over and try and line him up on here somehow. Just in a different pose. Okay, so that looks good. So now, I will come over here to scan. It's going to save that. Camera will start flashing. Down there, and our scan starts getting taken. That's right, I wanted to possibly try this on three, seeing as how it is a little dark. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let's check this out. Yeah, a little bit. I see I got some of his hat as the plate. So let's just try this real quick. Let's put this up to three. Let's put a pen and let's hit scan. Gonna leave them in the exact same position. And we'll see which one looks better. keep missing that I should this next scan I'm gonna push that right away so you can see what the GPU spikes to okay. so let's go to scan three and right click we're gonna load the scan we'll see which one we can see better this one gives better details. So it's looking like scan three is actually giving better details. Yeah, 
so we can get a little bit more on scan three. So okay. So we'll go to scan four and we'll just go delete. Now if you wanted to you could take and align these two and you know use that also. Uh, but I'm just trying to do this quickly and efficiently as possible. So now here again, um, I have some stuff that's red that shouldn't be red. So we'll go to edit or editor. We'll go to basement selection, apply. and calculate base so you can see that it is taking some of the hood or some of the, the ball of the hat so I want to drop this down and let's say to three uh, not far enough for me yet so I'm gonna go to try one And it looks like one it is. Now I could also go in and try and get this just right. Or open this up. And this is where you can go in and fix without doing too much. So I don't want to turn all the rest of this plate back to the normal color. I just want to do this area right here. But I'm just going to leave it. I won't be picky. So let's hit delete. And you can see that left a lot of extra pieces of the plate behind, so I still have a lot of cleanup to do. Um, I can try and do this again. If I highlight some of this, hit calculate base. Uh, see it took everything that it thinks that's at that level. And it is going to delete it or calculate it as the base, which I'm still gonna lose some more of his hat, but that's okay. We're just gonna get this done. Now, I have a pretty decent gap between what it sees as the bottom of the plate and this extra noise. So I will go to my lasso, and I will just do this and come around here and do this come around here and do that and there we go that should take a good chunk of that away there we go have that little bit left let's go in and clean that up real quick See, there's frame number one, I bet you. Uh, let's go in and delete some of this bottle cap.
Now you could also just take and hit, do your scans, and just hit the process button down here and see what all happens. Um, I've done it. Sometimes it does do marvelous things. And sometimes uh, you wonder what happened. So before I go deleting any of this, let's open up scan three. And let's check what these are here. So frame one. There, look at that. So you can see how it started building. Okay, so frame one, there. And it starts building from up on top of frame two, like I mentioned earlier. I'm just gonna go frame one, delete. And you can try and track this frame down if you want. didn't delete frame one so there we go frame one here we go I can't hit delete on the keyboard I got to do it here there we go so we can track down where this one's coming from That's coming from about 18, from 10, 10 to 30. So, let's go in and get rid of that, whatever that is. Now here I can hit delete. And I think that was the wrong spot. Yep, that was, whoops. Oh well. And there it was. Okay, so 172, you can see that's where it pops in. So I'm just going to delete that frame. this up again real quick Ooh, that was a lot right there. Don't want all that. Okay, that was better. Okay, clean that up a little bit.
Okay. I keep saying okay, but then I keep seeing more spots that I want to get. I'm being too picky right now. Sorry about that, guys. But I think you're getting the idea. Okay, so now let's load scan two. And here we go. We have scan two, which technically scan two is the front, right? Now, if I want to move these and kind of get them in a little bit better position to where to manually line them up, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to come over here to manipulate, push Alt, and you want to be in a line also when you do this. And you can push Alt. And see, I am left clicking right now, and you can kind of move and rotate him a little bit. To get it aligned a little bit in the same direction that you would like it to go. And if I want to move it, oh, I'm moving him now, which means if I bring in scan one, those two are not going to be lined up anymore. Okay, he's pink, he's green, he's blue. So, blue is our master, and I only call him the master because he's the solid one. So right now, I can hit auto align, and hopefully it should pop this all together. Or, I can hit process. So I'm going to try for process, which will do the auto align. I'll have it fill holes and I'll have it do texture mapping. Uh, and let's hit process. Now, hopefully, the lines all these correctly, which that it did not. So I could go to manual alignment, or I can go and I can change these. So I want one as the reference. I want two as aligned. Let's try that. Nope, that won't let you do it either. Let's try auto align. So, I can see that didn't do too bad. And what we want to do now is mark that is aligned, that is aligned, and scan three 
we want to put that onto the other two. So let's hit a line. And they pulled everything together. So let's go. So I'll hit next. This kind of took it off the beaten path, but. That's what happens sometimes. But that's the workaround on how to um, get them to line up using auto align. With editing the options in the software. Now you can also do manual alignment too. Uh, I will cover that in another video. As I'm pushing this one kind of long here already. So you can see it did clean up some of the residual noise. It's not bad. And again, this guy is only, you know, this guy is small. He's only 20 by 20 by 60. He's 20 wide this way, 20 wide this way, and 60 tall, if even 60. Okay, and we can go export. And I'm going to save him to Sierra Lizard. And here's live. And I will name him final
Okay, so let's see what that, that model actually looks like. Let's hit minimize. Let's open up. What do I have on here I can use? Let's use Mesh Mixer. Uh, no, I do not want to restore. I want to move this out of the way. I want to open the model. I want to go to Documents, Sierra Lizard, and Live. And Final. go let's open up say she the box she the box for the win maybe 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 come on I know she the box opens up uh, OBJs. And I'm pretty sure I could have saved this as a STL also. And we are loading. Model is too small. Do you want to scale? And there he is. This is a little guy here. I think this is something else. Um, let's go. Let's just check it out. See what opened up. This guy is down here. Unless that's is this one? Is this one? Oh, okay. Yeah, this guy he can get deleted. There we go. So there we go. I can rotate a little bit, a little bit. And obviously in mesh, uh, mesh mixer, I can go in and give them a flat bottom. That was the full scanning process using the CR scan lizard. Thank you, everybody. Take care.